Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you the importance of creating a customized layout in Sony Vegas Movie Studio and saving that layout. Let me show you what I mean. It's the first time you start Sony Vegas Movie Studio. The screen layout is going to look like what you see here. It's going to have darker colors. The preview window is going to be the top right-hand corner. The video and audio tracks are going to be below. Your tab with all the effects boxes are going to be over here on the left. And you have a master audio bus over here. Now for some people that's a perfect layout, but for me it's not the layout that I use. In a moment I'm going to show you the layout I do use, but first let me show you why knowing about these layouts is important. While you're using Vegas, there's a chance that you may drag a window away from the screen, like this, and enlarge the window so that you can do more things with it. For example, you might want to have your effects window large so that you can see what's going on the screen, and after you apply your effect, you may just close it with the X right here. Now that's not a good idea, but if you do close it with the X, what happens is the tab for that window no longer appears down here. So the next time you want to apply effects, you're not going to find the tab. So what you'll have to do is you'll go up to view and you click on video effects and the window appears, but it's still not in the tab down here. So you close it and now you've got a problem. The layout is not the way that you wanted it. Now to get back to that standard layout, what you can do is click view, windows layout, and then click default layout and it brings everything back the way it was. And now that we've got it back, we've got our video effects tab where it was. But like I said earlier, this is not the layout I prefer. In fact, I've created my own layout. If I click View, Windows Layout, and you can see that I've got a couple layouts here. And what we're going to choose is Bill's Layout 1440 by 810. Now you can see this is my preferred layout. And the reason I like it is because I like the brighter colors. I like the preview window down here on the right. I like my effects over here on the left. I've turned off the master bus because I never use it. And my video and audio tracks up here on the top. Now that I've saved this layout, any time that I want to get back to it, all I have to do is click View, Windows Layouts, and Bill's Layout 1440. But if I ever want to get back to the default layout, I can click right there. Now you may be wondering, how do you save layouts? It's easy. Again, you just click View, you click Windows Layouts, and you can choose Save Layout As. And when you do, you can enter a new name for that layout, and then that layout will always be there whenever you need it. Now before you customize it, there are a couple of things you may want to do. You may want to click Options and Preferences and Display. And this is where you can turn off the Vegas color scheme. And that's a, those darker colors that I showed earlier. And then it's also where you can display the timeline at the bottom of the window. So what I do is I uncheck that and uncheck that. And it gives me the screen that I have here. You can also resize your windows like this to get them to the right size that you want. You can move them up and down. And if you want to move them around, you can actually move them around the screen just by grabbing that row of dots and moving them around like that. But if you do mess things up while you're doing this, you can always click View, Windows Layouts, and go back to that layout that you were working with originally. So that's why it's a good idea to know about layouts. You find those under View, Windows Layouts. And again, the default layout will be there, but it's a good idea that if you work to create a custom layout to go ahead and save it. In my case, I've saved two different layouts. One's a full screen and one is the 1440 by 810, which is the size that I record these tutorials at. So instead of just working with what Sony Vegas gives you, you can go in and modify the layout so it works best for you. I thought you might be interested in this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.